generally uh, if the w- woman has regular periods it is suggestive of ovulation um so they they don't need any ovulation kit some of the patients can actually ide- uh, identify some symptoms suggestive of ovulation like mid cycle pain breast tenderness and all so all these suggest that they are ovulating and generally there is no need for other ovulation kits which are available over the counter the urinary kits they are good <clears throat> but they can cause some unnecessary stress as well when women are trying to focus only on the ovulation kit the kit could miss out an lh surge <clears throat> and falsely give a uh, impression that they are not ovulating and which can cause more worry for the patient if they are really infrequent periods like every few months there is no point in testing that ovulation because it is clear that they would benefit with ovulation induction um if the periods are slight bit irregular um like only one to two weeks apart they may consider using the uh, kit to help them but in practice generally when i see couples the suggestion that to have increase the frequency of intercourse to every 2 to 3 days has benefited them more um uh, to conceive rather than do the ovulation kits which are not cheap uh, which are not cheap either um so most couples prefer increased regular frequency of intercourse every 2 to 3 days uh, in couples where the woman has irregular periods